this video, I'll show you how you can fix Fortnite ESP GUI Met 003 error. The first thing we want to do is open up Task Manager, go to Details, sort by the name, come in here and press F, and make sure we don't have Fortnite open. If you have it, you want to end the task, as well as any Epic Games related stuff. So press E and look for Epic Games, and if you have that, you also want to end the task on that. After we've done this, what we want to do is open up our firewall. So open up firewall, allow an app, change settings, and check if you have Fortnite in here. Now, if you have Fortnite, you want to check all three of these boxes for Fortnite. If you don't have Fortnite in here, you want to open up Epic Games, right click, open file location, do it again, head to the Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, windows, and then you want to copy this one here. So click up here, not on these, but click up here, control C, allow another app, browse, click up here, control V and press enter. Then you want to add the Fortnite client, not the Fortnite launcher, but the Fortnite client, open, add, and it will add it in here. Then you just want to take all three of those and press OK. Then what you want to do after is search for Geo Network Connections, right click on your internet, version 4, use the following DNS and type 8888-8844, press OK and make sure to press OK here as well to save it. Then after this, it should hopefully work, otherwise you can go to troubleshoot settings, in here additional troubleshooters, internet connections and run the troubleshooter. Now if you have something else called um, in connection something else with internet, you also want to run that one, but I only have this one. Then once you've done that, check if it works. If it's still not working, open up CMD as an administrator. In here type ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Then type net sh space winsuck space reset. Do this and then restart your PC and then it should hopefully work. If this still doesn't work, you can try and find your router inside of your house, unplug it for a few seconds and then plug it back in. Now, I really hope this video helped you. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe, as it helps me out a ton. Thank you so much for watching.